Hey guys, it's Jamie Lola Tulula today again, and I'm doing a project share. It's not quite finished, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it or when I'm going to do it. So basically, it's done for right now. I used my stamps that I got from Aisha. Oh, yay! I'll just pull it down because I think I put it back in a box. The CC Design Geisha Emma, I think her first name is. And I used paper from the... I'll show you. Hold on. I used that paper from Rosewood Color Box. Oh, I'll pull you back up. I used these Inka Dinka Doo stamps that I got from Marshalls. And I used this Collage Page Instant Collage. I used this array of markers as well as my Spectrum Noir markers. And then I used some glossy accents, and I used some paint, uh, wrong color paint. I used, oh, hold on, I thought I had everything out. I used this Deco Art Red Carpet Craft Paint. And if you remember a while ago, I bought one of those huge, actually I bought two, jumbo, jumbo uh, paper clips from Pat Catan. So today, and I was doing an Asian inspired theme for my craft space. So here is my project. And I've got to kind of turn it because it won't get all in the screen. But there's my project. So you see the stamped, well, this layer of paper, obviously, is from the color book pay, uh, pack. Then these two stamps, this pagoda, and you can see the bamboo stamped behind her, are from the Inca Dew stack. Here's the CC to dine, Emma, and I painted her with, uh, well, actually I didn't paint her. It's um, Spectrum Noir markers, Sharpie markers, EK Success, Prismacolor, and Colorific color pencils. And hold on, let me get closer. And if you can see, I put some glossy accents on her eyeballies, on the flowers, on one of the flowers on her dress, and a butterfly, on the fan. And then up here on this paper. And I didn't do it like perfect so it perfectly matches. If you, It's like blobs because I kind of liked the blob look. So I did the like blobby look a little bit. So there's that. And then I inked the edges of the paper. I glued it all. I glued the paper down with that stuff right there. I love this stuff. You guys, it's awesome. I did a tutorial on something else with that. So... That's my project. I use my crocodile up here to poke, to punch these holes in the side. And I was surprised it would go through that, but it did. So, and what I'm going to do is, I can't decide what charms and stuff I want to put at the top here in these holes. And then what I'm going to do in the back is just take a piece of ribbon and use it so I can hang it on the wall. And then it's functional, because anybody who knows me knows I hate knickknacks. That's functional, and I'm going to hang up like when I'm doing my art pieces or something, or my art ideas, hang it on my wall. Let me flip you up. So it'll be like that on the wall, and then I could stick things in the bottom. How cool is that, right? And then I didn't do the inside. I did the inside at the top right there, but I didn't do this part down here because I didn't want paint to keep rubbing off on my stuff when I hang it up. So that's my project share for today, my second one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.